Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a HP laptop. This one is an HP-DW3033DX model. And in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can upgrade the RAM on this one. They do get shipped out with an 8 gig or 4 gig or 16 gig. And I made a short video, you know, I'll put that link in my video description, a video that you can follow within one minute. You can see your maximum RAM capacity for any laptop, any brand, or any PC that you have. So you don't have to install any program, it's just a simple code that you punch in in the windows and it will tell you exactly how much RAM you can have. All right, with all those sets, let's go ahead and open it up and show you guys the process. Remember, once you upgrade the RAM, you don't, you're not gonna lose any files or data or anything like that, or you don't have to do any configuration. All right, with all those set. Now, a tool that you're gonna be using is a screwdriver set. I would recommend you guys grab the iFixit screwdriver set as they have one of the best bits out there. These are S2 class steel bit. We're gonna be using a Phillips number one. If you get the Pro set, they will include you with an opening tool and some tweezers. But if you don't get the Pro set, get the simple set. And for the opening tools, I'll be using a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. So with these two on hand, let's get it started. First thing first, on the bottom of the laptop, you're going to power it up. On the bottom, you're going to see two screws in the front end of the laptop. You're going to go ahead and remove these two screws. Now you want to keep them in one pile. And there's a few hidden screws that we need to remove on the bottom rubber and on the back rubber. To remove the bottom rubber, you want to stick the opening tool in the bottom corner and lift it up and it has a little rubber adhesive. You don't want to yank it up towards this side, otherwise you're going to crack the rubber. You want to bring it up in 45 degree angle, just like this. Keep pulling it up slowly and put it beside it. There's a screw right there. And you want to do the same thing on the back end too. Sometimes the, you see the adhesive is in there, it's not in here. You can still pick it up the adhesive from there and bring it up. So there's the adhesive. Or you can just add your own adhesive later on if you want. Lift it up. There's the adhesive. You can reuse it. It's just to uh, cover the screw holes. All right, once we remove these two, and we're gonna remove the rest of the screws on the bottom. There's like four of them in the back and one in the front. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Also, if you guys like my video and you want to support the channel, you can do that by clicking that like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It will be a great motivation for me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. Alright, now that we've removed the screws, we're going to keep them in a different pile. Now we're going to grab the opening tool. And we're going to open up the laptop a little bit. And we're going to stick the opening tool between the bottom and top cover, just like that. Okay, and we're going to twist it backwards so you can pry opening the top case. You want to hear big sounds, click sounds, that's what you want to hear. Those are the clips that are getting loose. You want to do this every one or two centimeters. You want to hear those clicks. You want to go all the way to the back corner all the way to the back side and do the left and the right side once you did the front and the side you want to close it down and back here on the every corner right in here you want to stick it between the bottom cover and the palm rest and you want to loosen it up same thing in here Loosen it up and put it face down and work it around and remove the bottom cover. And there you have it. Down here you can see the big battery, there's an empty spot for a mechanical drive. That's another topic. But for now the RAM is right over here. There's a one extra dim, there's a two dim available, and they have only one with an occupied eight gig. To remove the RAM or add RAM, you don't need to remove the battery at all. It's absolutely not necessary because if you remove the battery, the BIOS is going to reset to default state. So when you turn on, it might take a little longer to boot for the first time initial. So if you're careful, you don't have to remove the uh, battery. But if you want to remove the battery, 
remove one, two, three, four screws and the battery will just lift it up. That will be the battery, but not, and you don't need to. Anyway, let's go for the battery, for the RAM. All right, the RAM is right over here. To remove the RAM, all you need to do is to pull these two triggers away from each other. Just pull them away like that, and the RAM will come out in 45 degree angle. And all you need to do is to grab it in a 45 degree angle and pull it backward in the same direction that it came out. You don't want it pull it upward towards the ceiling, otherwise you're gonna crack the dam and the RAM. So you wanna pull it in a 45 degree angle in, and to put it back in, you have to make sure the notch on the dam on the ramp matches the notch right over here on the ramp dim. So if you try to put it the other way around, it will simply not go through, because the notches are not matching. So you wanna flip, come, put it right there, and then you wanna push it towards the motherboard, and you're gonna hear these two triggers clicking, just like that. That's how you know the ramp is in correct position. Open it up, remove it, and these are DDR4 RAM, so you wanna put it on that one, bring it in 45, all the way towards the dim, make sure it clicks in there, and then towards the motherboard. Okay? So to remove it, pull out, and push back in there. Doesn't matter if the orientation for the RAM chips, anything on the RAM, so that makes no difference. Now there's a little tip. Let's say you add a new uh, RAM right over here, another eight gig right over here, and you power on, you wait five to 10 seconds, if you don't get to after four, 10 seconds, you don't get any screen or any boot screen, you wanna power off, you wanna remove both of the RAMs, put the new RAM in this dim on the closer to the CPU, then you wanna power on, once you get the logo for HP, you wanna power it off and then add the old RAM on the second dim. This happens with the laptop BIOS, sometimes they don't detect it right away, so you wanna swipe the place and take one by one, and that will always work. Let's say that you have the RAM installed. Next, all you need to do is to grab the top cover. You want to uh, scoop down the RJ45 internet port down in here. So bring it down in 45 degree right there. And put it down and squeeze the corner. Make sure you hit that click on the back row right there. You squeeze on that side. You squeeze the front. Now, you want to open up a little bit and you want to see this gap opening right here. All you need to do is to pinch them together. Just like that, go all the way to the back corner, pinch them together, and that'll be all. And the last thing in here is to put the big long screws under the rubber cover and the two short ones in the front end of the laptop. I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If it did, please click that like and subscribe to support the channel. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I always try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.